GPS navigation system. Free lifetime map update. It is seven inches. Preloaded for maps of the USA. Real-time voice broadcast. It has driver alerts, a speed limit indicator, route avoidance, and route optimization. All right, so let's go over the device. First, we see what we get. So the GPS, it's just like a tablet. Full manual. You charge it for your car, plus it has an a external USB so you can connect to charge your phone. To put this right in the windshield. So let's build this first. That's it, right there. I'm gonna use this. So you stick this right in your windshield. Now what else we get? The USB cable we can use to put in your computer to load the map. All right, so we get the sun protector, and this is to build sun protector. All right, so we see the GPS. Besides the GPS, a tablet, so you can use normally at home like a tablet. So we look here, we have the USB input for the five volts. Right over here, we have the reset switch. And by the way, to reset it, you see this? It's not a pan, but this allows you to press over here in reset the device so USB and input so if you have any uh, other devices like uh, uh, an mp3 player you can input there memory card you put your memory card here you can put 64 gig 32 gig and also the headphones so this is good if you want to use this and as a tablet and power it in if you're looking for a GPS that goes beyond a normal GPS, this is the one you want. Definitely one tip I can give it to you. Um, make sure you install, you install the sign, because sometimes it's a lot of sun, so you want to you install this, so it even looks better when you put it on and done. And now, as you see, it's working with batteries. I'm not using uh, any charger because it's battery now. You can remove this and just go, you know, take it home and you can um, use it uh, to watch. You can install YouTube. You can put any application. You can even set up your map um, um, before you start driving. But I will say, as it is showing in the bottom, if we see that in the bottom, it says uh, speed limit 64. So if I'll, if I'll go, go then faster than 64 miles an hour, whatever I'm going to be going, it's actually it's going to give me a warning if you want. And it has a lot of warning. It show you the warnings uh, for hiding cameras. Uh, all kind of warnings in the road. The already map knows it's been updated. So we'll show you all the warnings you can activate uh, from the main menu. When you want to go home back again, you are here. You can play music if you want this time. You can go back, didn't quit, and it still runs in the background. It will stop it if you stop the application or if you go. So I can be playing my mp3s in the map was there there that's a nice thing so let's stop this now these are the steps you need to take to see what version of map you're running so we start the navigation program we're going to click more then all the way down into help then you click about then you click more then you click contest. And then we're going to check what version of map. Map. And we can see here we run in 2017. This is United States. So break it down by state. So was, this one was released 2017, third quarter. All right. It show you also Canada and I think as well as Mexico. All right. So now to put the update, we need to click this. So we go back, back, or click the house. So you are in the middle of the screen. Let's bring this up. Let's click here, and we need to click this. We're going to make sure this is not running in the background. If not, you can just click and reset the whole uh, and operating system. But we just go like this, and now we guarantee that it's not running in the background because we want to make sure 
we can replace all the programs on the GPS. All right, so this is the step you're gonna have to take to update the GPS. First, you need to install the GPS in your computer using the original cable. Either you can put in the USB 2.0 or 3.0. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using Windows 10. So when you plug in, you turn around your power on your GPS. And if we go into my case, my computer, we can see here it's called PND. Right? So maybe it has a different icon. But in my case, that's what it looks. It looks PND. It's possible in your case it can show you a letter. So we see here it's not showing me a letter. Maybe it show you KP. It can be a letter into it or the name as you see here in Windows 10. So we click and we say the internal storage of the GPS or let's say the tablet, the Android tablet. When I click, we can navigate to RES. And that's the main program, R-E-S. You're going to click R-E-S. And then we go ego. And here we see the whole directory. But the only thing we care to update is contact. This one. So here we see the maps and we pay attention. That's the map. And we got all the files. All right. So that's the we need to take first. So we're going to stay. stay right now, keep this in mind. We're going to stay here. Next steps. You need to download a software. There is two steps we need to take now. The way to get the maps, you're going to have to go to gpspower. So right over here, gpspower.net. You will have to register to the website. So you need to create an account. When you create an account, you're going to navigate all the way to the bottom. And here we see, I go GPS system. We click on it. If you're not registered, they will not let you download. So. Here we see the maps, we click maps. All right. And we're gonna choose, we pay attention now the first one, worldwide maps and contact. We click right there. Now for the demonstration it says in United States. So we click on it. And opens. Now, you get worldwide, you get Europe if you want to. Uh, I will say you will have to delete your original. I don't think it will fit if you try to put all this map in the GPS. So stick to the original one. In my case, I'm in the United States. So see show. So here we see the main. And here one is what? Uh, almost 5 gigabyte. Another one, 1.5 gigabyte. Now, the first one was done. 421 and then this one is made first now we have to remember depends when you're going to be watching this video it can be a six months from now a month from now so just pay attention to the days today this will be the ones now what i did in my case i don't know the boat because I, what i'm thinking is this is the main map and then they create in a patch and they put this one we can load the patch but let's get everything so download this one and this one next no now to be able to know this, you need to get an, another program. It's called BitTorrent. There's BitTorrent, uTorrent, and many more. In my case, what I'm using is BitTorrent. If you want to use this one, it will be BitTorrent.net, or that, I'm sorry, .com, so BitTorrent.com. Download it, follow the instructions. This is available for Linux, Windows, and, and Apple. In my case, I say Windows Time. Should download it, follow the instructions. After you do that, you're going to click here. Just so remember to be able to see this, you need to register. If you're not registered, they won't allow you to see the link. All right, so I click my first one. All right, so automatic open my browser in this case. It's my Firefox, my um, default browser. And we see here already downloaded. When you click that, it will start downloading. It's a big file, so you have to think the depends on the speed. Of your computer, it can take 40 minutes. My case took almost like 40 minutes, depends on the network. So you can stay maybe 40 minutes, two hours. You have to go and leave it and wait until the full, full download. 
and what allow bots with the save it but depends what is the default folder normally in my case it downloads and downloads so you have to pay attention to that you can always open here and will automatically and this is this here automatically opens the directory so we go back and then download we see the two directories then i see pointing them and here we see see buildings maps so we're going to pay attention now to update all this so we're going to go and we have both five both are the same but so we need to make sure we put the five um git first and then the two because well, technically both looks almost the same one is this thumb time i think yes yeah. so let's look this one first and this one is 4.55 gigs so we keep that in mind so let's go and open now another folder or oh, let's expand this we go internal storage see as you let me see now I'm going to be open another and to make it more sense this way. All right, so when I get confused in this, let's go back to my download directory. So that's my computer on my right. This is the GPS on the left. So internal storage on the GPS is called PND, especially in your case, maybe it has a letter name. Rest. We go there and we see here they technically this look now the four four point five so let's click four point five so what we got we got buildings maps form and the one called PCI there's one called PCI so I'm gonna make this simple I'm gonna go grab the whole thing and copy so I drag it I hold my left button on my mouse and let it go right there yes you want to have to overwrite everything so we say yes because we have the same directory so now it's going to copy from your computer to GPS so now it depends your computer system. Maybe your USB can be a little slow, can take a little longer. You see here it says 18 minutes. It can be a little faster. I think it goes a little fast. So now we're moving. Now moving, we cap it from my computer download directory and to the side here. And that's the first step. We're going to wait the 18 minutes. Then we come back. All right, so when you finish updating, we're still in the same side, right? We go back at the downloads, and we're going to get the small one. Now, we have something to remember. Not every map is updated to 2019. Some there are in 2019. Some are 2017. They do some type of update. Some like in senior, senior Jersey, and some, some later update. So I think the whole map, it will be, um, so it's a mixed match. You will see 2017. 2018 so you're not going to think even though the map says new 2019 but there are all the files that get updated not just the map it's possible the, the buildings or other part of the software is being updated it doesn't mean every map will be to the latest version at least it's to the latest version of the time they did it and i guess the roads they don't get updated all the time so once again now we're going to grab this see possible buildings so whatever files it gets updated not just uh, so we're going to grab this and this supposed to be the latest version may 1st 2019 so we click yes we want to replace all the files so now it's going to copy all the files to the system so once again you know they show you in the beginning everything shows 2017 so you're going to be a mismatch. Some is 2017 because there was no change in the row. It's still the same. So as this row change or they do something different, then they will update to the new to the new system. So then it is done. So what I'm going to do now, we come back to the GPS and that's it. At this point, we finished the update. All right, so we finished the update. So let's check that. We go back to the map. Oh, let's go back so it's beginning so everybody send the same page okay so we are right there we click 
more then we click help about more and right there and let's check map remember what i said to you not only every map will be updated because it has to be depends if there's any change on the road or the state so we see some still 2017 but now you see that now we got 2018 we didn't have 2018 2018 in canada so it did update see delaware depends where so they've been all been updated all right even if we get some of the countries here they see now Honduras, hawaii so they update only they just some other countries as well so mexico so all depends but at least some of these state there was no changes since uh 2017 but at least now you run into the latest version and with this we complete the whole tutorial thank you